Hello everyone and welcome to this rehousing video. I will be rehousing my six new tees. These are the Averse Colour, Icantisco Gene Colata, uh, Rachypalma Bapalosum, T Species Cuso, uh, O Species Vilosipes and P Species Rufus. Um, I have the enclosures already so it should be a fairly straightforward video uh, with the exception of trimming out bits in between uh, to keep it fairly speedy. Uh, I don't like that too much. So this enclosure that I have ready, um, very basic, but it should be fine for it. And this is for the T species Kuzo, which I have just here. And I'm going to show you how to very quickly rehouse a T. So I'm going to remove the tissue. I have ordered a tripod, which still hasn't came yet, and it's been a few couple of weeks, which is a little bit concerning. So I might have to order me another one. So, uh, very carefully open up the tissue. There's the, the spider. Having a bit of a runabout. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> so, I didn't I don't think I'm handling these to be fair. I don't, uh, I don't get much enjoyment out of handling teeth, to be honest. I know I do it. I do it because a lot of people request it, but as a whole I'm not really that bothered about doing it, so... Anyway, there's the, uh, the Kuzo. It's in there. I'm going to give it a very quick spray on the one side. And... Uh, it's just on the... Side of the enclosure. There we go. And uh, there you go. That's one done. So let's do the next one. Okay, then five more left. Uh, next, I'm going to be doing the avicular reverse color. So again, going to be opening up the enclosure. A um, couple of inches of substrate at the bottom, and then I got like a Bit of a log thing going on that is secure so this spider won't be able to sort of flip it and uh, won't crush itself as I drop the vial. So just take that off. And then just take the tissue out. I'm going to use my legs. Oops. Keep climbing up. As you can see that, see these beautiful looking spiders. <laughs> and there we go, and there it is. Just going to again, very small amount of, of water in there for it. And put the lid on that, put the air holes, and that's the Averse done. Nice and easy. So now, next up, I'm going to be doing. Uh, which one? Actually, I'm going to do the Brachypalma Bopolosum the true bracky of Bobblosome because, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually up on the top of the lid so I'm going to very carefully pop that off very small but uh, again, a very, very, very light spray for this one. You see, it's just down there. I put this uh, like a dried leaf in, um, which you can wear up in there, might feel quite secure, and as well as there's the hide. So that's that one. So that one should be good in there. I'll put that one over here with the other two. And that's the. Uh, to be a Pelosum. 
Ah, uh, next up. Oh, I have three left. Okay. I'm going to do the... Um, I think I'm going to do the Singapore next. The O via low speeds. So again. The lid off. So there it is, and again, a very simple enclosure for it. And I'm going to be giving all of my these a quick spray, just because they've been in they've been in uh, in transit. So that's the Vilospies. Then I have last but one, the P species, yeah, P species Rufus. Um, Honestly, don't know a lot about this spider. I wish I could tell you more, but it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I kind of saw it and thought, oh, that'd be pretty cool to have. So I thought I'll give it a go. Oops. So, again, take out the tissue, open up the tissue. And of course, it's going to curl up into a little ball in an area that I can't get to. There we go. Give it a little nudge of encouragement. No, not into the tissue. Okay, I don't know if you can see that it's actually just down there in that leaf. And once again, it's a very light spray. So that's all of my slings done. The only one left now is the uh, Acanthoscuria geniculata, which is um, a spider that I actually wanted to get at the BTS. And I, I saw them as tiny slings and I just didn't buy one, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, I'm kind of glad I did now because of getting this one. So again, I'm going to very carefully, this one is obviously bigger, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. And there it is. Um, I can't tell the sex, unfortunately. Um, No, I can't tell just by looking at it. It's a little bit of a shame, to be fair. So there we go. Done. Easy. No, uh, no trouble. You can see these are those enclosures that can be stacked. Plenty of room in there for it. So uh, yeah, there we go everyone, as a quick video, I've got to tidy up um, all of this stuff now, but that 6T is just rehoused, it's taken me all of 10 minutes pretty much to rehouse those, so that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't uh, seen the unboxing of these, please check it out, it was pretty good. Um, I got some of these in a, um, a mystery box, so if you'd like to get more of those, please let me know. Um, I'd love to, you know, try and do more things that you guys want me to do, within reason. Always open to uh, requests and things that you like, so, uh, yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching my footage and my content. Uh, leave me feedback, it's always greatly appreciated, as always, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, I'll see you soon.